What's up guys? Quilts versus sleeping bags. Um, I highly recommend that you're going to want to watch this whole video uh, before you go out and make a purchase of the quilt. Um, it might save you some money. And by the end of this video, you might decide against buying a quilt. So whether or not a, a backpacking quilt is kind of right for you depends on several things. Um, it really depends on your sleeping style. Um, depends on the temperatures that you're going to be using the quilt in. Um, depends on how you're going to be using your quilt. So with that being said, well, the first major flaw that you can have with a quilt is really the draft issue. Um, and most of the drafts um, can be eliminated using something called quilt straps. Uh, they come with most quilts nowadays. And basically what they do is just attach the uh, quilt to your sleeping pad. Quilt straps will eliminate the drafts that come in where the quilt straps are located. But what they don't do is they, they don't eliminate the drafts that come in around your shoulder area and your neck area. And there's really not a good way to eliminate that. I want you to watch what happens to uh, this side of the quilt here as I roll over. So we're gonna cinch up the... So we're gonna cinch up the neck here because this is how I normally have it. And we're gonna go from laying sideways like this and this is kind of what I would do if I was rolling over. So I would just roll over. I don't know if you can see where the draft would come in, but you see this area right here? This is the problem. Because every time you roll over, you're going to have, whether I roll from this side to that side, to that side to this side, the quilt comes up off your shoulder. I roll back over and we kind of have the same issue going on. You can't see it, but we have the same issue going on as we have our backs exposed on the back. So that's, that's not really good if you were an active sleeper and you kind of roll around a lot in your sleep. All right, so basically what quilt manufacturers are doing to kind of combat that issue is they have a snap here at the top which this actually snaps around your neck but what they're doing is they're actually adding a second snap down here so we'd have a snap here and we'd have a snap here so then you would have two snaps go around your neck and then this snap would actually go around kind of your shoulder area so um, that brings up another problem though um, let me let me reset up the camera and I'll show you what that other problem is. So basically what the other problem is is that if in order to have a snap here down around your shoulder area to look, to eliminate that draft, the quilt has to be physically wide enough to go all the way around your entire body because this snap here would essentially be in the middle of your back. Now, um, the whole point of a quilt is to kind of eliminate that insulation that you're laying on. Um, and if a quilt is wide enough to go all the way around your entire body, doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose? It's kind of it's kind of weird to me that you would buy a quilt to kind of eliminate that insulation that you would be laying on, and then you go get a quilt, and the only way to really eliminate the draft issue from tossing and turning is to get a quilt wide enough to go around your entire body, which essentially, that becomes a sleeping bag, doesn't it? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. If you're the type of sleeper who basically just lays down, you know, in a log shape on your back and goes to sleep and wakes up eight hours later, you know, refreshed and ready to go, um, you know, that's not gonna be an issue for you. The quilts are gonna work out great. But if you toss and turn it all during the night, you're gonna have draft issues. So if you're a first time quilt buyer, uh, just be aware of that issue. Um, I think, you know, it's come up in other videos that I've seen, but I don't think it's really uh, kind of been pushed as much as it should. The draft issue is a big issue, especially if you toss and turn at night. Just be aware of that. You need a warm hat when you're using a quilt. Um, and though a little beanie, you know, a one ounce beanie is not what I consider a warm hat. You need something like this. This is a down uh, balaclava from Goose Feet Gear. Without this down balaclava, I would definitely not be able to push this quilt to its 30 degree temperature uh, rating. 
Um, I'd probably be 10 degrees warmer than that. I'd probably be around 40 degrees is where I would max out and be uncomfortable in it. But, but quilts are lighter than sleeping bags, aren't they? All right, so I have everything packed together here. I have the down balaclava, the quilt straps, and the quilt all packed in this stuff sack. One pound, six ounces. It's hard to see it. One pound, six ounces for grams. And it's 626 grams, just as a reference. How does that compare to a sleeping bag made out of roughly the same materials um, at the same 30 degree temperature rating? All right, so here we are at the Feathered Friends website. We have the Osprey UL30 sleeping bag. We'll scroll down. We have a weight of one pound, nine ounces. That's one pound, nine ounces, compared to our one pound, six ounces for our quilt, quilt straps, and down balaclava. Basically, that's not that much difference. As we're looking at whether or not we should buy a quilt. Um, you know, you really have to look at what you're doing with it, the temperature ranges that you, you're using it in, how far are you willing to go, are you willing to add that extra time it takes dealing with a quilt, all to save maybe three ounces. Actually, the sleeping bag here, I don't think that it's even the lightest 30 degree sleeping bag on the market. Um, I think Western Mountaineering makes um, one that's even lighter, one pound seven ounces. So then, then we're even talking about one ounce difference. So for me, 30 degrees, 32 degrees, and below, I'm gonna take a sleeping bag versus a quilt every single time, and the reason is, is because I sleep warmer, and I sleep better, and I wake up feeling better the next morning. Maybe I've missed something, I don't know. If I have, let me know. If you think of a question, ask me, I'll answer it. So you guys, I hope this video helps. Uh, shed some light on quilts versus sleeping bags. Thanks for watching.